Hi traders, market starts with a huge gap down. S&P is down 2.5% and the Nasdaq is down 3%, over 3%. And why is that? Because Putin just invaded Ukraine. Anyway, you know, when the market starts with a very big gap down, you expect the S&P to push its way higher. And at some point, you expect a failure. You do not expect it to move up and close the gap. But this is true for a gap down, which is big, like 1%, 0.8%, 1.2%, 1.5%, maybe. We've got a 2.5% gap down. So, will the rules change today? Sadly, they did. And you're going to see how much money I lost today. And tell you what, normally it won't. Normally you would expect the market to move higher just like you see right now and fail. This is why I started looking for stocks which will probably fail moving higher, come down with the market, just like you're going to see now uh, with LMND. LMND started down. I mean, it's down 7% right now. So it's definitely down more than the market. It's a nice technical formation. It looks like it's about to give up and I'm shorting here 4,000 shares. So I am short expecting it to fail, but it's mainly because I expect the S&P 500 to fail, which did not happen. Now, at the same time, I'm looking for another trade, Boeing, which is trending lower. It looks lovely. It's down more than 4%. And it really looks like a perfect failure. And I'm shorting it here with 4,000 shares. And again, I'm expecting I'm going to make a lot of money because normally when the market does that, it fails. Now, as, as you can see, Boeing is moving higher. It's a fast forward. And I'm about to move out of this losing trade for $6,000. Just lost six grand on this Boeing trade and here comes LMND and you can see that the same thing happened the market just kept moving higher look at it it moves off the high just close this trade another big loser and you think I stopped here well <laughs> you are mistaken here's my next trade RCII I'm still thinking well the market should come down so I'm shorting here another trade RCII hoping that it's going to fail uh, with the market but again Fast forward with RCII, the market just kept moving higher. Nasdaq actually moved up, closed the gap, a 3% gap down. Look at RCII now moving up with the market, closing this trade. Look at the S&P 500. You can see that it moved higher, pulled back down. This is the pullback. There's this small red candle here, which drew me in for some more trades because I was hoping that this should be the point where the market failed. It did not fail. Just kept moving higher. And here's the result. Just 30 minutes into the trading day and I lost $19,000. Just gave up all my earnings this week with one trading day, actually 30 minutes, just to show you how hard trading could be. You know, I often say this and I don't always show you my losing days and mainly because I don't have so many losing days, just like the one here. But I think you should know and should understand that trading is extremely hard. And even if you see me make money regularly, I do have some days like today where I'm giving up everything I just earned. So two winning days this week, third day comes along and I'm down losing everything I earned. You can see my last two videos um, in the last two days and you can see the results I made approximately the same amount of money. I think, I think I'm still green a few hundred dollars. Anyway, trading is extremely hard. If you like this video, please give me a like. I will really appreciate it. It will help more, it will help more people like you understand how hard <laughs> day trading is. And uh, if you do want to subscribe to this channel, although I lost so, many, so much money today, you can do it here, right here. You've got this uh, subscription button here and you can hit on the notification bell if you want to be notified of my future uploads. And please start with the demo. There's links below to the same platform I'm trading. It's a, it's a Colmex platform and you can start with the demo of Colmex without risking your own hard-earned money. Never lose more money than you can afford to lose and start with a demo. So there's plenty of links here below. I do appreciate the fact that you watched this video. I want to thank you for that and I'll see you in my next video.